Hello guys and welcome back to another monthly favourites video. Um, it is obviously the end of April and as I'm sure you're all aware, <laughs> April hasn't really been a normal month. Um, but there have been a few things um, that I have been loving. Obviously, not necessarily makeup items because I feel like aside from now when I'm filming, I haven't really been wearing much makeup at all. Maybe concealer and brows and mascara, but apart from that, not a lot, but I still have been using quite a lot of products, quite a lot of skincare, body care. Um, so I thought I would do my monthly favourites this month and talk to you all about things that I've been loving. Um, I'm going to start off on the product side as well because I've also got a few other things. I've got a TV show, a drink, <laughs> um, a few other bits and bobs as well. So starting off from a product point of view, like I said, there's no favourite makeup that's like new discoveries this month. Um, but there is a lip balm which I am completely and utterly obsessed with. And I... Like, to be really, really honest, I was sent this and I thought, that looks fine. I'm not a massive fan of um, the rest of the... Well, not, not a massive fan, but, like, I'm not a crazy fan of the skincare range. I love the makeup. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like I should tell you this. It's from Charlotte Tilbury, um, and it is her new um, magic lip oil. And I'm not a crazy fan of Charlotte Tilbury skincare. I love the dry masks, but in terms of the magic cream um, and all of that stuff, the eye cream, the night cream, I'm not... I, I wasn't blown away by it. Like, I liked it, but I wasn't crazy about it. So when the lip oil came, I was kind of like, oh, okay, tried it. Oh my god, I'm addicted to this stuff. It is divine. It's actually a rollable, um, which I'm not crazy about rollable lip products because I feel like it, the germs from your lip go back in. And I'm not really like a germaphobe, well, until coronavirus happened. Um, <laughs> and now I'm a little bit more conscious about it. Um, but in terms of like, it's just, it's, I don't know, but it's a dream to apply. It smells divine. It leaves your lips super soft and like glossy and just really, really nice. Um, yeah, it says lip conditioner by, by day, lip mask by night, use it 24-7, obsessed with that, absolutely love it. Um, she also released the serum, which, um, I tried a few times and wasn't, like, crazy blown away, um, although I have to say I have heard a few good reviews, so maybe I need to give it, like, an extended trial, because skincare takes a long time to, um, actually see any benefit from, but the lip balm or lip oil is fantastic um another like well it's not really skincare it's a tan product that i've been loving this month is from james reed and it's the new click and glow tan drops gradual tan now i'd previously been using my favorite super glow um serum from tan lux which is the hyaluronic acid serum with fake tan in it but I got sent this and I decided to try it and I have to say it's really exceptionally good. It's probably the best facial tanner that I've tried in terms of looking natural, being easy to use. It's not fake tan. Like a lot of the time in the past when I've been like fake tanning my body, I'll put a little bit of that on my face, like on my forehead and cheekbones, like where the, the light would hit just to kind of like blend it. But that's not a very nice process because the product itself with like proper fake tan, I find it's just not very... Yeah, I don't really want to put it on my face. Um, so this is a separate facial fake tan, but it actually is powerful. Like, it says it's a gradual tan, but I swear that you will notice a difference from the first time using this, or I did anyway. Um, whereas a lot of the, like, facial fake tans I think are a lot more subtle, this actually does something. And you can really tailor the level of tan with it as well, because it's a very precise you guys will be able to see it's a very precise like dropper um applicator you click and it like does a drop so you basically put it I've got one of my hairs in there you put it on the palm of your hand so like four clicks or whatever mix it with your moisturizer and then put it on so you can use it kind of as and when you want and you can tailor the amount of product you put in but you can also mix it with your favorite skincare so you're not adding like another step to your skincare routine that is kind of like layering up sometimes I find if you use too much product it gets a bit product heavy um, whereas this you can like mix it with your moisturizer or your night oil or whatever so um big fan of that been using it for the last couple of weeks and I have had some compliments on my tan um and obviously because it's been sunny people think I've actually got a real tan I'm like no 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 it's fake um another favorite is a hand cream this is a totally extra hand cream I am aware um that it's expensive and if you don't if spending money on hand creams isn't your thing totally fine because I get it hand creams you're either into them or you're not having said that I am not normally I 
I'm normally really lazy with my hand cream, but obviously in the current situation that we're in, everyone is washing their hands a whole lot more, right? Um, therefore everyone's hands are getting dry. I'm gonna put some of this on right now because my hands are dry. Um, and I've been trying loads of different hand creams. Normally I kind of, I'll use them if I have dry hands, but I don't use them like daily um, as out of habit. This is the best hand cream I've ever tried. It's from Alginist, which is a brand that I am increasingly beginning to rate. Um, there are two other products from these guys that I love and I use, um, both for the face. This is the liquid collagen hand cream. It's super thick, so it comes in like a tube with a pump, and you pump it out. It's super like thick cream formula, and it is just, it not only sinks into your skin, pretty much instantly but it's just super super luxurious and nourishing but it's not greasy i have a real i think that's probably why i don't like hand cream because i have a bit of a phobia about oily fingers like i get really irate about it i have to like wash my hands you know when they do your nails a nail salon and they drip on the like finger oil like the cuticle oil and it goes like all over your fingers i'm like ah. and they're like oh is that okay for you i'm like yeah that's fine and like rub rub my fingertips on the towel to get rid of all the excess because I just, I hate having oily fingers. Ugh, I hate it. Um, but yeah, like look at my hands now, they look so much nicer. Genuinely, it's like proper skincare for your hands, which is, hence, it's from a skincare brand and is expensive. But um, if you've got super dry hands and you want to splash out on a hand cream, I would recommend trying this, it's brilliant. Um, and then from the super expensive to actually really affordable and just so brilliant, um, I love this stuff and I've had this for a few months now but I've been using it more recently because River's had some eczema issues on her cheeks, I've got eczema issues like around my mouth and I've also been using this as a hand cream as well for River and Mike and me like just when we're washing our hands whereas I save that one kind of night time and I don't use it like five million times a day. This one I've been using a bit more. It's the Child's Farm Baby Moisturiser. Um, this is the, it says mildly fragranced one, but they do more fragranced versions. This is like the baby friendly one. Um, this is so good as just like an all round moisturiser. If you have dry patches, dry elbows, dry knees, eczema, it's really, really gentle um, and it just helps to kind of smooth everything over. This has basically gotten rid of, River had some like eczema -y kind of um, breakouts on her cheeks and I've just been applying that and it got rid of that in like a week. Um, so good, just really good. And I think it's about 13 pounds for this big bottle. I've had this for a few months, like I said, um, but yeah, it lasts for ages. A little bit goes a long way. Like genuinely, if I was putting moisturizer on my hands, yeah, I would use like that much out of this huge bottle, probably less than that. Yeah, maybe less than that. Now I'm gonna have really greasy hands because I've got like way too much hand cream on. I've double dosed on the hand cream. Um, but yeah, that's really good. If you're looking for like an affordable, um, moisturizer that is good for the whole body and for the whole family. Um, I would definitely recommend Child's Farm. Um, I've got a fragrance as well and it's a weird time to have a fragrance because I feel like if you discover a new fragrance in lockdown, after lockdown, whenever that's going to be, isn't that a happy thought? Um, I feel like it's going to forever smell like lockdown so I don't know if I'll like it after lockdown but it is amazing. Um, it's from Jo Malone and it's part of their Huntsman collection which is all of Jo Malone fragrances are unisex, but the Huntsman is very much, as the name would suggest, targeted towards men. So I think there are four fragrances in this collection. It launched not recently, probably like over a year ago. Um, but I picked this out for Mike. Um, I was at an event with Jo Malone, and you guys know I work with Jo Malone a lot, so I've got all of the Jo Malone scents that I like. They haven't, haven't released a new one kind of recently, so all of the ones that I like, I have already. Um, and they really kindly offered to gift us a bottle and engrave the top. It's got Mike's initials on the top. So instead of picking one for me, I actually picked one for Mike because I discovered this collection and I hadn't smelt it before because it was a male launch. I hadn't heard anything about it. Um, and it smells divine. So I got this for Mike, brought it home. Mike started wearing it and I was like, you smell amazing. I'm going to start wearing it. And now we both wear it. It's the Assam and Grapefruit Cologne. It smells so good. If you like lime basil and mandarin, like the original kind of Jo Malone, um, fresh kind of citrus scent with a little bit of a twist. Obviously Assam tea, so it has that tea kind of um, 
base to it but then it has the grapefruit that's like sweet and sharp at the same time it's not as kind of um clinical smelling as if it was lemon or lime because sometimes i find that they're a little bit like kind of less sweet than grapefruit it's just got that really lovely fruity but not sweet sweet scent it's so nice and like the perfect unisex scent genuinely mike and i both wear this at the moment every single day love it and then another favorite and i just breathed it in it doesn't taste nice just telling you now um another favorite is a gin um i love gin and tonic i've always loved gin and tonic um it's probably my drink of choice when it comes to having a drink obviously a lot of us are now making cocktails and drinks and whatever at home um so i thought i would share a favorite discovery i've actually spoken about this on my instagram so you might have seen it already um but it is Cooper King Gin. Now, this bottle is actually the herb version, which is not my favourite one. My favourite one is the original one. The herb one is still very good. But the original one, which is in the pinky purpley bottle, um, is so delicious. I actually bought, um, I bought this one and I bought the previous one, which is the original, which I had, um, around Christmas time. And we didn't open it. Um, I think I bought it because we were having some parties and stuff. And I thought, oh, we'll make sure we've got some gin. And then we just didn't end up finishing the previous bottles of gin so we didn't open it and I opened it um pretty like the beginning of lockdown kind of like six weeks ago um and absolutely loved it like loved the taste love the, the bottle is beautiful as well when you see it like obviously the this one is beautiful too but the other one is like very much up my street pinks and purples kind of vibe um and I didn't know much about it and I posted how nice it was on my Instagram and then the company actually got in touch and told me about the fact that they're producing hand sanitizer for the nhs then i looked into their instagram when they told me that and found out that they're actually a sustainable company as well so their factory is supplied by um, renewable energy they plant trees for every bottle they sell um they also um are making hand sanitizer and donating it to the nhs so at the moment when you buy a bottle um you automatically get a little bottle of hand sanitizer and if you buy some of their hand sanitizer uh like liquid it's not gel it's liquid um then they also donate a bottle of that to the nhs which is awesome so yeah i discovered it and fell in love with it for the flavor and then i completely got really on board with the brand as well because it's just a really nice brand so if you're looking for a new bottle of gin and new something you try and you like gin and tonic too definitely recommend cooper king they're based up in yorkshire i think um so yeah delish and oh tv show favorite tv show this month it's kind of like out of date now because it came out i think it came out at the end of march no at the beginning of march and i watched it in march but then i also finished it we, we watched it in like two nights but i spoke about it in um one of my isolation like weekend vlogs so if you watch those you'll have known that i became completely obsessed with noughts and crosses i never read the book when i was a kid i don't know why because it was out like at that time when i must have been at that age to read it like i feel like it came out in like 2002 or something i looked it up and so i would have been like te like early teens mid teens when it was big it was like a really really famous book i never read it i know i didn't know anything about it until i watched the tv show but it's absolutely brilliant if you have read the book and you loved it definitely watch the tv show there's there's some conflict in terms of like did they change um the plot a little bit and did they change kind of what happened they did apparently um but i kind of like read into that even though i haven't read the book yet um but i really really enjoyed it and if you haven't heard about it you don't know what it's about it's essentially um written in a kind of futuristic dystopian society as a lot of kind of like young adult novels are but it's really interesting because it's almost there's like it's almost as if the apartheid in south africa happened backwards racially and it was in the uk so it's set in the uk but there is a huge social division based on race between black and white um and it is just fascinating and the acting is brilliant i loved both of the lead actors in it um and i just loved the plot and i it just i i really was totally addicted to it so if that's your kind of thing if you were into i would say like the hunger games um and divergent and all that kind of stuff but i actually don't think those film adaptations were good at all but i loved the books so if you were into those kind of books and you thought those films were lame this is one of those things where 
presumably the book is very good as well because people loved it but the actual tv show series was brilliant in my opinion i loved it um so yeah that was a favorite this month as well um i'm not gonna pretend i read any books i didn't i haven't really listened to much <laughs> in terms of podcasts either it's weird because my time when i listen to audiobooks and podcasts is in the car and obviously like i haven't been driving anywhere um so i haven't been listening to much this month um but yeah that's it for my favourites. I hope you guys have had a nice month, even though it's been a tricky one. It's been a weird one. Um, I hope you're all safe and well and sending you lots of love. And I will see you very soon. Oh, actually, the other thing that I was going to mention. The other thing that is a favourite this month is gym gear and the Peloton. Um, if, for those of you who follow my vlog, you'll know that I have a Peloton bike. and I've had a lot of requests to do a review of the Peloton bike. However, I'm aware... Firstly, that it's a really expensive thing to invest in, but also secondly, it's not necessarily what people are interested in. So my question to you is, would you like to see a review video of the Peloton bike? Is that something you would want to see on here that you're interested in? Let me know in the comments. Also, um, I've basically been living in gym gear for the last however long we've been inside. Um, would you want to see like a gym gear favourites? Is that something you want to see from me? Or is that something you would rather leave to the fitness influencers? Um, let me know um, and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.